Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense with Nikhil again. Before I start the review, I thought I'll give you a short glimpse of the island. Alright, it's a really beautiful island. If you like solitude like me, if you, want to, if you really want to spend time with yourself, away from the noise of the cities and the chaos. Alright, this is a must visit place. So guys, let me take you into the review now and we are talking about some really nice summer fragrances. Basically some fragrances that you can take to a tropical paradise like this. So my dear friends, welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that short video, that short tour of the island. Anyway, coming back to fragrances now. Uh, before I begin with the review, uh, basically just insight. It's not a proper review. Just I'll just quickly go through the, uh, the fragrances that I carry. And these are a standard set of fragrances that I usually carry to my travels. If I'm uh, going to a tropical island like this, I, I love the coastal areas and the beaches. You know, it's, it's, it's really uh, fulfilling for the soul. You can just choose a secluded part of the island of the island sit there relax and have a good time it helps to rejuvenate that's that's uh, a really really important part of my journey all right anyway now before i begin the review uh, i would like to give you certain tips when you're traveling to a tropical island like this when you're traveling to a place uh, which is near the equator also the subtropical climates like that of india where it tends to get really hot. Summertime in these areas, in these parts of the world can get really, really difficult for the fragrances. Even the best fragrances will not last on you for a long time. So don't expect your fragrances, you know, don't expect your fragrance to go a long way with uh, one or two applications. Uh, you have to reapply fragrances. Well, most of the times. And you don't necessarily need to overload yourself because that's going to kill the fun. It may cause a lot of nasal discomfort, personal discomfort to you and also to the people around you. In fact, I would advise you to never, never wear an extremely heavy scent or don't over apply fragrances when you are around people. It's better that you don't wear any fragrance at all rather than annoy people. All right. Uh, anyway, so let's begin with how to carry fragrances which are the best methods that you can use or which are the best ways to carry your fragrances on trips like this I have you know I have a lot of precious fragrances with me uh, today we are going to fragr we'll discuss fragrances like Roja's bergamot extract and then we have Creed's Aventus now guys these bottles are quite cumbersome to carry especially with these jewels up here false jewels I mean you can't carry these fragrances together what happens I'm pretty sure you'll keep them in a bag, in a toiletry bag and forget about them. What happens? The glass, you know, the solid material on these bottles tend to, uh, you know, uh, hit against each other. That can damage the bottles. The cap can come off, the sprayer can get damaged. So what I prefer is to carry decants, alright? 
I mean, nobody is going to have a look at your bottles when you're traveling, right? So it's always better to carry decants, especially something like this. Now, this is this basically has two parts. One is a strong plastic case. I get these decants from traveltubes.in, which is basically an Indian website for decants. So they have these are these are expensive, some somewhere about 50 to 60 uh, Indian rupees. That's about one dollar, nearly about one US dollar less than that. So I prefer to spend on my decans, all right, because these, these, this, this, this liquid inside is really precious. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Anyway, it has a nice glass vial inside. Now, why I prefer glass over plastic decans is that glass, a good quality glass will not react with the liquid. All right, so even if you store this fragrance for a long time, this is like a 12 ml size and you can wear this fragrance again and again. I mean, you can carry this, uh, this decan to multiple trips and it won't, won't hamper the liquid inside all right there are chances of liquid getting out leaking out and uh, getting oxidized that will sp that will spoil your expensive or precious fragrance even if it's not expensive i mean it means something to you right uh, anyway and it has a very nice atomizer at the top it's a plastic atomizer on top of a glass vial this juts out a lot of scent all right so it releases a lot of scent and the distribution on skin is really wide now that is something which you get from bottles made by creed and that is what I prefer because you get a nice mist so nothing gets concentrated on one area of your body and uh, you can uh, you know actually enjoy the fragrance on yourself you get the whole spectrum it's 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 the uniform distribution of the fragrance also helps with your own personal experience all right so let's begin with uh, the perfumes now that I'm carrying so the first one is Royal Crown uh, the house is Royal Crown this is the fragrance is raindrops uh, Royal Crown is uh, not a very popular fragrance brand, but I've, I've, I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube. Um, uh, Mr. Ryan, Ryan Vegan had also done Rise Frags basically on YouTube. Great guy, great collection, probably one of the most fantastic collections uh, on, uh, I mean, in the fragrance community. And he's also very learned and very passionate about fragrances. I really love him. Uh, when it comes to passion for fragrances, the way he's involved and the way he cares about his fragrances, really nice, top job. Anyway, so Royal Crown, uh, I've seen some reviews that he'd, he'd done. So Raindrops is basically an, a thicker rep representation of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. There are certain differences, but the opening, the dense, almost sharp greenish opening uh, is the common theme here, which you get from uh, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. It's like a dense, mature-ish opening that you would get with fragrances, fragrances, male fragrances of yesteryears. Uh, a dense, greenish vibe. It's almost like a strong galbanum hitting at you uh, with some hints of um, uh, citrus elements. And it's a little sharpish, uh, to be precise. Things settle down. Uh, uh, you know, it takes a little time here for the transitions to occur. Unlike Creed's Green Irish Tweed, where things happen rather quickly. So it will take about two or three hours for uh, the heart and base notes to come out actually which is which is very very unique and that's why this fragrance wins in the performance department as compared to green, uh, green Irish Tweed. The dry down is the simple sweet salty sort of vibe it's very very well suited to uh, trips like these locations like these and uh, I, I love this fragrance it's, it's a basic fragrance but uh, I think it's rather costly if I really had to pick up between this and Creed's Green Irish Tweed, I would pick up Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Even with the lesser performance, I mean that dry down, that beautiful ambergris combination uh, with musk, synthetic musk is just phenomenal. That's why Creed really wins, you know, uh, that signature DNA in the dry down of Creed's Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, Creed's Millicent Imperial, Erolfa. I have a lot of Creed fragrances with me, which I bought from online discounters. I, I never pay, pay retail. Uh, if I have to really get a fragrance, if I'm desperate to get one, I get decants like this one. So again, Creed's Spice and Wood, a very maturish fragrance, I would say. However, the theme is quite simple. It's not uh, exactly very, very complicated artsy like Creed Royal Oud. However, you get that sharp cedar here, all right? You get that sharp cedar combined with a very beautiful, bright, sparkly citrus opening. Very delicate, uh, very delicate notes, yet everything is uh, loud and powerful. It's not like the weaker scents like Millicent Imperial, the newer bottle of Millicent Imperial. 
uh, every note is very clear, very crystal clear, very marineish, and um, it has a spicy vibe. It does not have a salty vibe. It has a slightly sweeter vibe, uh, citrusy, and it's slightly spicy. All right, it's almost like a black pepper going in the background. It's a beautiful fragrance which will last on your skin for a long, long time. However, let me tell you, you don't really apply it close to your neck because it causes olfactory fatigue very quickly. Just spray it on your clothes, spray it away from your neck, probably the arm, uh, back of the neck and on your chest. And three or four sprays is really nice, will, will, re will really do the job. And it performs, uh, the projection is really nice. You get a lot of compliments because it smells really nice. There's, there's a decent development in this fragrance, which I really appreciate. However, at times, there, there are times where I feel that this is, you know, this has something like a Aqua di Gio Profumo sort of vibe. Aqua di Gio Profumo is a very popular fragrance and uh, you know, when something smells like that, maybe because of the choice of the ingredients, it kind of disappoints you. But then again, something magical happens and you start getting whiffs from the other ingredients. And uh, that is where you get the sense of satisfaction if you're spending so much. I would never spend retail on this fragrance. Even if it's special, even if it's really nice, I wouldn't spend so much money for a fragrance like this because I believe in the, in the rarity of ingredients, all right? In the natural smell of ingredients and it is not one of the most natural smelling fragrances that I've come across. So in my opinion, this is a rather costly affair. So I would go for a decant just like this. This is a 30 ml bottle and I think it will last me a lifetime. Now, the third fragrance that I'm going to talk about is a very common fragrance, Creed's Aventus. Now, why I wear this fragrance still? You guys might be thinking, come on, man, enough of Aventus. Now, one thing, one important thing, this is not Aventus. Aventus is not a Latin word, Latin English word. It's basically uh, just, just, just a name, just a name given to this fragrance. It's a new word. So, it's, it's pronounced as Aventus. It's not Aventus, Creed's Aventus. It's Avantus, all right? So the French call it Avantus. The guy who created this calls it Avantus. So I'll call it Creed's Avantus from now. So Creed's Avantus basically is a very successful fragrance. That's the word when it comes to uh, Creed's Aventus. It's a very, very strong, powerful, powerful fragrance. A nice grapefruit opening, a touch of bergamot, and just a little sparkle from the green apple, fruity, especially the newer batches, they are more fruity, a little bit of tar, slight leatheriness, very, very faint, very tough on noses uh, to pick up, you know, the, the new noses to pick up. Uh, when you get a nice experience with this fragrance, you will, you, will uh, you know, sniff that ingredient more and more. It's a nice touch of birch tar, which is used to replicate leather in fragrances, all right? There is nothing called as leather oil or leather essential oil in fragrances. You basically use saffron or you basically use birch tar. Birch tar uh, is the most commonly used perfume ingredient to replicate leather or to mimic leather in fragrances. Anyway, so a very nice basic subtle combination, something which is more of a balance between art and practicality. That's where this fragrance wins. You don't need to be a fragrance, a fragrance connoisseur to really enjoy this fragrance. Just go with three or three or four sprays away from your neck. It can get rather rather loud for people who are sensitive sensitive to uh, stronger fragrances. If you don't have those problems, you can spray uh, six to eight sprays easily. Just just keep a safe distance from your skin. Last the whole day gets you a lot of compliments. Very easy to notice because of its strong projection and uh, it's a really nice fragrance and very very practical one thing which again is uh, a sort of concern is the pricing it's really expensive and i mean when someone tells you that it is expensive with a person who has experience with fragrances you must believe them this is a really really costly fragrance so go for a decant if you can't afford it but you really want to uh, get about 70 to 75 percent of the experience you can go with those cheaper alternatives tons of cheaper alternatives of this on the market because it's a really popular fragrance uh, so yes that was creed aventus this works for all ages all right unlike creeds green irish tweeds spice and wood creed aventus suits all ages all right so if you are a teenager with a lot of money i won't say that if you are a teenager who can afford this fragrance must try this one and it's a great entry fragrance 
for the niche brands for the niche fragrance market all right so now we have roja's bergamot extract i love this fragrance it's it wasn't really expensive when i bought it so i kind of mm, feel it's 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 somewhere in the middle uh and i really enjoy wearing this fragrance reasons the reason is that the bergamot note here is very very special very unique very sparkly and uh it lasts for a decent amount of time 5 to 6 hours and it still is on your skin it causes olfactory fatigue that is one thing like feeds aventus so you feel that you're not getting enough performance out of this however trust me guys this really lasts well on the skin because it's it's concentrated i've heard that the newer bottles do not have the same concentration uh as earlier but whatever it is it's a really nice fragrance you will you know when you uh, when you're buying bergamot fragrance you will you'll feel that most of these bergamot scents smell the same all right but guys when you've spent enough time you'll realize the quality of perfume ingredients like bergamot 22 by the house of lalabo smells something like this because the bergamot ingredient is of good quality there are also some nice bergamot fragrances out there which you can enjoy but roja bergamot has this special special uh vibe all right with the ingredient and really outshines the other fragrances and uh, it's a unisex fragrance so your partner can also wear this so if i carry a fragrance like this uh me and my wife we can wear this fragrance alternatively so that really helps so if you're traveling you want to minimize the number of bottles that you're carrying i love it uh, price is definitely on the expensive side but if you can afford it it's a great fragrance nice alternatives from the cheaper market would be uh something with neroli ferrari's bright neroli a beautiful fragrance uh then uh, you have something like uh, mm, from the house of adolfo dominguez it's called azahar it's a spanish brand extremely extremely affordable fragrance like we are talking about 15 20 for a 100 ml bottle the performance is 5 to 6 hours and you get a nice bergamot it's not a very dense rich bergamot like this more of a neroli jasmine and uh, a musk base scent slightly soapy so that's a nice alternative anyway coming to the last fragrance now this is vetiver which i found out in found out about in 2017 this was sent to me from the house of darkwood forest apothecary uh an indie fragrance house now this vetiver is something which is extremely special vetiver the real vetiver not your synthetic perfume ingredient the real vetiver actually helps uh in hotter climates all right it it gives you a sense of calmness it gives you a sense um of refreshment vetiver has that quality and it's combined here with a sweet ylang ylang a beautiful tropical flower and uh, there's some spicy cardamom now the spicy cardamom is not your a uh, synthetic basic cardamom ingredient that you find in designer fragrances it's, it's rather rich and special just three basic components the fragrance can last on your skin i mean it holds you uh, it holds the skin like a crab <laughs> and it will last on your skin for about 10 to 12 hours the performance is phenomenal the scent is smooth sweet don't over spray this fragrance it will annoy you it will start cloying you so two sprays is more than enough on your skin and it's such a beautiful fragrance such a nice natural smelling vetiver you get the sweet slightly greenish uh, woody aspects smoky woody aspects of vetiver and it's not overwhelming like the indian north indian vetiver which we call as a ru khas so it's rather wearable more like a haitian vetiver essential oil very very sophisticated soothing fragrance and i love this it's a unisex fragrance uh, for most parts so yes guys that was my list of fragrances which i love to carry to hotter destinations like this i hope you enjoyed this video and will be back for more if you have something to add to the video any suggestions or any fragrance suggestions any tips you would uh, you would like to share with the viewers uh, you know something which will help them in their travels please please feel free to do that Thank you so very much for your contributions and as always I would like to thank you for watching my videos see you once again with another video take care bye bye